Hey there, Auntie Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Ukulele. In the last episode, we were here in Tribal Staff Tropics. I just want a refresher. Yay to you. It's once again registering that I didn't actually talk to this person. Maybe that's why I'm not... Oh! He's looking for Rampo's treasure! The treasure room that I found! I don't know if that's going to help or not. Yes. I already said yes, but I guess it didn't register again. So hopefully I wasn't just wasting my time with all that searching because it didn't register once again. It didn't register that I left the level and then it reset that whole thing. I didn't realize that it did that. That's kind of annoying. So if he's not far, and his feet are wet, does that mean now I can go in here? Because this is the actual treasure room. You know? This is the actual treasure room. Nope. Like that camera angle. What is this corporate town? That's what I need to really figure out. That's the big thing that... Here you are! This is water! I didn't even consider this as water! I didn't even remember it existed! God damn it. Also, this person definitely was not here before. Otherwise, I would have known them. Okay. At least I found it. This Bowie takes the war around the island with high score. Okay, at least that's easy enough. He's, that's over this. Corporate Town's this thing up top! Where they're cooking the... That's what that's supposed to mean! Oh! I didn't like I didn't even think of that as water like I barely ever go over there and this guy hmm, He's over by here somewhere. I would have honestly expected him on top of this Hmm. Over by this island I don't see anyone in particular. And this is something that I probably could have done before the world even expanded. So I doubt it has anything to do with that little mini platform with the bees. I don't see this archer guy anywhere. There he is. Okay. Well, I have a lot. Bird watcher. Okay. So I'm making progress. Near the world's ramp, pro explore the tomb underneath. So that's probably. The actual treasure room and it tells you to explore there and when there's and when the pig appears That's how I get that thing That's probably what it is yeah, That explains why I never found that pig though because they don't appear until you talk to the until you talk to the guy And I didn't realize it didn't register me as that not having talked to the guy when I when I got back into this level and I don't think I ever went back to over to that section unless I was resetting anything. But yeah, it talks about the ramps and stuff, and it says to check below, and here we go, checking below. There's gonna be a pig in here now. Open it up for me.
Well, so this, so two Heiji ideas were one in the same. So now one of them that I'm missing is the one underneath, in inside the monument, which is actually where I'm also pretty certain the last remaining 11 quills are gonna be because it makes sense that there would be quills in there. That's an area I haven't really been able to explore yet. But that still leaves now, two totals, that would add potentially the other 11 quills and one more pagey. For certain. One more pagey. So that still leaves two pages that I don't know what to do with. I'm gonna talk to this guy and see if he has another race. He's gonna have two more races, one for water, one for ice. I don't know how different this is even gonna be, though. I didn't like this the first time. But at least I have a... I have two of the power bar extenders now, don't I? That'll hopefully make this easier. And also, luckily, I just got a new pagey, so if the game crashes again, I won't really be missing anything. Could have done with one of those butterflies. Let's try and get one of these guys. Nice. This one is easy compared to the first one. It helps that I really know how to move on ice. That was really easy. Impressive, you won. That's how I roll. You're the paper vest gold medal, may you treasure it forever. Okay, so let's go turn it back into water. How am I gonna do the water one, though? I mean, I guess I can roll all in a bubble, but the bubble's gonna pop eventually. Oh well. Meet you guys in a moment. Okay, let's see. Now that it's water, see what we can do about this. Huh. This dialogue makes it sound like there's gonna be another challenge, though. Alright, well, that's one more thing. He's not gonna race me, though, for another one. And it sounds like he's gonna appear in a different world now. Hmm. So, in that regard, there's still one more pagey I'm missing. And I have absolutely no idea what it could be. I only know one other thing that I haven't explicitly tried yet. And it's pretty stupid, but... I don't know. Let's go talk to that one other flower. The one other flower I didn't, I didn't recognize and didn't know was around. Let's see if it has anything. And if not, I'll jump in the water and leave. Getting right over here. What do you tell me? Maybe I would do that if you gave me useful information. Fuck you. Alright. Um. Well. I think I'm gonna have to call it quits. I don't know of any other thing I can do in this area. And I don't know if it would be worth looking for another... PG. Since I don't even necessarily know if I... Like...
Because, I mean, there is the whole... The inside the monument thing that I can't do. I need some sort of, like, invisibility thing of some sort, I guess. I saw that thing and I was like, did I not? What is that thing that I see in the distance? It's just a torch. Alright, so I really don't know what else to do. I'm just gonna head out and I guess make my way to World 4 for next time. Because, yeah, I think it's more worth to just go to World 5 before I try and complete any of these other areas because I just need all the moves I can. It's important. So I'm going to try and unlock World 5, so I'll meet you guys back in the big water-logged room. Where, right where World 3 is. Okay? Meet you guys there. Alright. So now that I'm back over here... Wait. Is that shortcut to World 1 over here? Where? Is this going to let me out? I mean, this would have been nice to realize earlier. Oh, this isn't actually World 1, it's just outside in here. Okay. That's, that's different. Still a handy thing to know. Is this a pagey in here? Um... Fireproof. There's gotta be a thing to make me fireproof somewhere, because there's a wall of fire in front of a pagey, and I can't really take that too far away from where I am. Oh, but there's water that I can probably spit. Put it out. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Well, that's that. Okay, so that's cool. And now I got a nice little shortcut. I like these shortcuts a lot more than the stupid pots from Gruntilda's Lair. Those were just hard to remember. And you had to activate both of them, so you need to find both the first one and the second one in order to even use them. This one, you just kind of need to find the second path, and there's always arrows. I like these arrows. They're helping the... They are really significantly helping navigation of this place. I don't love the hub area, design-wise. And I think without the arrows, it would be kind of... annoying. But with the arrows that it has, it feels pretty reasonable, honestly. Alright, so up here is world 4 and 5.
in there. There's the thing that, yeah. Now I've got a nice shortcut there. That's why the lily pads are there. Four, okay, so world four is a casino, world five is a space level? All right, that's neat. I had no idea what World 3 and, or 5 looked like at all. I never re- Because they were never really in promotional material, I don't think. Oh! Is it that time again? It is! Alright, sure, let's end the episode with this. Alright. I'm feeling pretty confident. You got a decent memory. Travis's mushroom shelter. It was orange. Yellow. <laughs> Apparently I have problems with yellow and orange. But also, I definitely remember that stupid thing because it took me forever to find. Alright, Moody Maze Marsh. What business does he own? Farmer's Market. I didn't even know which one he was talking about, but I was like... One of these is gonna be a thing that was in there, so I'm just gonna choose one. This character, who is it? Uh, it's not hard, that's just the... Plank. Sure. Good thing they all had names that relate to what they are. Uh, picture, where is it taken? It's the snow level. I don't recognize that. I just guessed. I didn't know. Disturbing bubble move? I don't remember. Buddy bubble. Sometimes it ha it's just kind of obvious from the context what it's gonna be. I don't remember their names! Oh, come on! I don't remember their names! Little glazed glaciers, useless snowmen. How many are there? Five! Five! I don't know where the fifth one is, but I know there are five. I had to count that a lot of times. That's funny to me. You asked the one thing that I was constantly correcting myself on in that world. Anyways, um... I'll keep going for a tiny bit, I suppose. I have a feeling there's gonna be one more of those quizzes. One more of those quizzes right after the fifth world, when you're able to continue to the final boss. Huh. We are outside now. I wasn't actually expecting that. I'm sorry, I need to continue my quest on trying to climb absolutely everything possible. It's the only thing that means something to me anymore. Well, I guess I'll start to explore that side later. For the time being, focus on the World 4 exploration. Ignore Vendi, because I don't care about her. 
And along the way, I'm probably gonna run into Trouser. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely views. Alright. <laughs> Hope you don't charge extra yeah, for that. Yeah. You're getting close to your missing book, yeah. but you won't quite clinch it without yeah. my next free charge maneuver. This master the art of yeah, yeah. stealth, like the time yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I am upset. I am upset. I am immensely upset by this development. So, as soon as I unlock World 4, I'm ending this episode, but next time on Let's Play Ukulele, I'm going to want to finish up the world I just left since I can now do it! <sighs> I'm frustrated. And yeah, here's the casino. Let's unlock you. Only 10 pages. So basically, the main thing you want to do with this game is just kind of get through every world you can. As soon as you can. As soon as you can. I could technically expand this world right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Alright, well, here's World 4 unlocked for everyone. And... What is this path taking me to? Oh, it's just taking me backwards. I see. I didn't notice any of those things until now. Yeah, so this is taking me backwards, and I just... You know, I was too stupid to realize. So then what's this way? Oh, this is a giant collection of books. Oh, and this big book sucking machine. I see. There's a reason why I want to be over here, though. I mean, probably, but. Keep going down this path and then in the episode. Lick, 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 okay. Okay, so what was all this for? I don't know, some sort of entrance. Hmm... Novel Hobble. I 
have no idea. None of these really look all that different. I got a pagey from it, so that's cool. Kind of a random thing, though. Alright. There's nothing else in here, so I guess next time on Let's Play Ukulele, uh, I'll finish up World 1, hopefully, and then start World 5, 4. I can't count. Bye!